G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. Just a little update video on the JVC XUD 400 Mark II combo CD mini disc deck. It occurred to me after a couple of comments on my last video on this machine that I should maybe get back here in, in here and take a look because uh, this deck is from a very heavy smoking environment so there's a lot of cigarette smoke that got into it and it occurred to me that uh, we might be having some trouble with the uh, switches inside this deck and so I took a look in the service manual for the compatible model that I actually found a service manual for and it uses this VCR type at rotary encoder so we're gonna just take a quick look at this to see if it's dirty or whatnot and if it is we'll clean it up and maybe that'll get this thing working again I wouldn't count on it but uh, we'll give it a shot anyway you have to take off these uh, top plates here there's this one that goes on in on this side, and then there's one that goes this side, and it's not too hard, but uh, we're going to pop this apart and see what it looks like. And uh, just wanted to mention that there is an alignment mark here. Right there, there's an arrow pointing. And it points to this little piece of plastic here, so... That's how you got to get this back together. So, and if this works, I don't know. Maybe there's a future for me in electronics after all. I don't know. Okay, split washer coming off. Actually, I can get that with a fingernail, maybe. Yes, I can. So, here we go. Okay, the mode switch is underneath, and it looks like there is a locating pin right there. You can just see it there that engages with this hole in the, uh, the gear. So can I get this apart even? Good question. I tell you what, these VCR style mode switches are a continual source of problems in VCRs, so wouldn't surprise me if this is terrible. Oh yeah, it's very terrible. I can just see it. Actually, not sure if I took this apart the right way. I don't think I did. But yeah, there's very clear oxidation in there. You can just see it. Right there. Those are bad. So that's probably why this thing doesn't work. So let me go off camera and see if I can fix this. All right, so I've been studying this, and this is exactly the way this is supposed to come apart. So uh, what I've done is I've put some deoxit D100L in there, and I'm just going to try to uh, press down on the contacts here just so I can maybe clean them up a bit. I don't know if this switch will ever be good enough to uh, function properly again, but uh, this is all I've got access to. Basically what happens is... Uh, this little disc here spins around and presses down on these switches as it spins. That's how the deck knows exactly what position it's in. I would use acetone. Honestly, I would prefer acetone, but uh, that might melt the switch body, so I'm not going to try that. I'm going to scrape the contacts with my screwdriver here. And that's really cleaning things up, thanks to uh, the D100L that's in here. And I don't know if I can get away with it, but I could take these contacts out, maybe and clean them that way, but I don't think that would work very well. I'll just have to uh, try to clean these as best I can. And then once I get this done, I'm going to come over to this pulley here, which is cracked, and I will super glue that back onto the shaft. So that'll fix that, I hope. It'll impress me if this is the problem, but uh, it probably is the problem. 
But yeah, it's about the best I can do for her. Maybe this will work, maybe this won't work. Nothing to lose, really. Except for all the brand new capacitors I threw in this thing. I'm just gonna... reapply the D100L and then we'll put her back together, I guess. All right, let's find out if anything's different at all. I have my doubts, but let's see. Still emergency stop, of course. Uh -huh. That was worth a shot, wasn't it? Yeah, it still says blank disk, so... I have had enough with this thing.